welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show YouTube for a brand new episode of our MLB The Show 22 Philadelphia Phillies Franchise Mode. Last episode, the Phillies won the World Series. We won it all in the year 2023. Bryce Harper is the three-time consecutive MVP award winner, 319, 39, and 118 for RBIs. Noah back-to-back -back Cy Young. Matt Olson's the batting title. Reliever of the year goes to Rodgers. Steel Walker gets the Rookie of the Year. Hank Aaron goes to Bryce. Bumgarner gets Gold Glove. Contreras, Cooper. And we're going to go through the gold. We're going to go through the words right now. We're going to point out any Phillies. Monia comes second for uh, for Gold Glove. Um, you know, the Philly right there. The problem with this game is it never updated for Silver Slugger for pitchers because there's a DH now. So just no one gets a DH if they're a pitcher. Harper wins Silver Slugger. You saw Hoskins and JT came like second. Uh, postseason MVP goes to Harper and World Series MVP goes to Gene Singer who had three home runs and hit 400 with five RBIs during the World Series. Absolutely insane. Eloy wins MVP. Good on Eloy Jimenez right there. You see how he's developed so far. Garrett Cole is going to be your Cy Young Award winner. Ty France. Jordan Romano is going to be your closer of the year. Josh Jung, congratulations to him for Rookie of the Year. Please ask Gold Glove. Rutschman's Gold Glove. Tristan Cassius. So some young players getting some love. Jose Ramirez being great. Carlos being good. Austin Hayes with the gloves. Cedric Mullins. Man, I thought the entire Orioles outfield was going to get some gloves right there. Guess not. Flatty gets a slugger his third in a row. Bregman gets a slugger breaking up Devers. Bichette breaks up Bogarts. Eloy wins MVP and a slugger. I mean, Randy gets a slugger and Abraham Toro gets the postseason MVP for the American League. Now going through some retirees right here. You see some veterans the Phillies picked up. They're going to retire. Justin Verlander calls it a career. Pujols calls it a career. The Marlins. Scherzer calls it a career. Santana calls it a career. Let's see, Charlie Blackman, Darren Ruff, Robinson Cano, Chase Anderson, Elvis Andrews, Jackie Bradley Jr. Let's see, any other? Jesse Chavez, Tyler Clippard, Delano Shields, Ross Detwell. I'm surprised he's still in the league, honestly. I'll see he's Escobar, Neftali Feliz. Let's see, any, any other decent, not even good names, Phil Gosselin, uh, Yuli Gurriel. Retires. Torrey Hunter Jr. retires. Poor Torrey Hunter Jr. Former Philly Ian Kennedy. Here's Dallas Keuchel. Let's see. Anyone else popping up? Yachty retires. Yeah, I'm surprised he hung on for, you know, 2024's offseason at the start of the 2024 season. Uh, we got Jose Quintana retires. Dave Robertson retires. So, I mean, Chaz Rowe. He was pretty good for a couple seasons. Uh, Joe Smith. Dude stuck around forever. D. Strange Gordon. Yeah, former Philly Nick Williams. Ryan Zimmerman, really. Nice take away everyone who retired, got inducted to the Hall of Fame. Scherzer, Pujols, and Cabrera all made it to the Hall of Fame. So, not bad stats. Two th 23 year career for Pujols. Was that 21 years for Cabrera? Now taking a look at the players who are for contract. These are all players who are on the World Series roster who will not be brought back for the 2024 season. Gene Segura, he's great. He's going to start regressing, though. And it's it's all hard so to let him go. Now taking a look at who's available on the market. Josh Hader, I really like that, to, I like that name right there. Josh Hader in real life just got traded to the, to the Pondre, the flip for Taylor Rodgers. We went after Rodgers last season, and you saw he won the Reliever of the Year award. Now this year, you know, we're not bringing Kenley back. Kenley, wrong side of 35. And I think we need to go in there, we need to bring him back. Or we need to bring in, like, a Josh Hader type player. I think it's going to be the go-to uh, player for our team and who we need to bring in to really settle our bullpen down and be like the long-term closer you know we lost sir anthony dominguez he just chose not to sign with us um and it, it, it's a shame we can get some veterans like mayor Rorsch chapman bring him in but he'd just be like another one-year plug-and-play like kenley jansen was 
We signed uh, Jansen away from the Braves last season, which is part of the big reason why we went after him. Uh, but now we're getting in some more like some death players. Do Brad Miller, Philly favorite, fan favorite, Brad Miller. You can never go home with Brad Miller. But Josh Hader, he's 29, 7 years, 80 million, 11.4 million a year to be our closer. Signed through his age 36 season. I mean, this is going to be the Phillies all time closer by the time his contract's over. Andrew Schaefer, we're going to give him a one year, $6 million deal just to be a solid lefty out of the bullpen to go along with Hader in that like support, you know, middle relief setup role. Ken Giles, former Philly closer, give him a one year deal to see how he turns out. He, you know, part of the Vince Velasquez Mark Capel trade. Shohei goes to the Dodgers on an 11 year deal. 11 years, 385 for Shohei Otani. All right. Billy signed Ken Giles, Brad Miller, and Andrew Schaefer, and they all come to Philadelphia on one-year deals. Josh Hader, the big-ticket free agent for Philadelphia, decides he wants to come here. Seven years, $80 million a year for the hard-throwing lefty. Montas goes to the White Sox. Not New York-like in real life. Not a bad deal for Montas. Five years, $63 million a year. Jack Flaherty going to join Shohei in Los Angeles. So Los Angeles going big on the rotation, it seems like, this offseason. Ian Happ going to Texas, down there with Corey Seager and Marcus Semyon. Glass now going to jump ship, go to the Cardinals, replace Jack Flaherty. You know, Glass now leaving the Tampa Bay Rays. Cody Bellinger going to leave the Dodgers, head to Arizona. It's a very... Uh, Zach Greinke, Madison Bumgarner-esque move right there for Bellinger. Gene Segura is going to leave Philadelphia with the ring and head to the uh, north side of Chicago for the White Sox. He's a veteran in that offense. Harrison Bader joins them, being a huge center field depth. Right there you got Lou Bob, Eloy, Bader. I mean, that's a pretty stacked out outfield. Jesse Winker heads north on a four-year deal. George uh, joins George Springer up in uh, Toronto. Julio Arias goes to the Reds. Strange move right there. Urias, 12 and 7, 3 of 5. Now he struggled, but goes to the Reds. You know, Devers. That's a very strange move going to the Brewers. Leaves Boston head to Milwaukee for a change of scenery right there. Now take a look at our lineup to start off the 2024 season. You got Schwarber, Hoskins, Harper, Castellanos, Ramutu, Stott, Bohm, Moniak, and Nick Maton. Bench will be Miller, Veerling, Kiermeyer, and Garrett Stubbs for the bench bats. For the rotation, we have Wheeler, Nola, Clayton Kershaw, Madison Bumgarner, and Hans Kraus rounding it out. For the bullpen, we have Ranger, Connor Bryden, Jose Alvarado, Francisco Morales, Ken Giles, Andrew Chafin, and the closer will be Josh Hader. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quicker episode of our Phillies franchise series. And text time YouTube though. Peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy and have yourselves a great day.